What is going on guys? Thanks for stopping back here to the channel. If it's your first time here, go ahead and get down there and smash that subscribe button. But today I'm going to be tearing into the truck that is nice and shiny and I just got cleaned up. Um, I'm going to be going and I changed the U-joints and the front axles of it a little while back. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the front drive shaft as well. There's three U-joints on this one. So hopefully this will be a lot simpler and quicker than changing the U-joints in the front axles and a lot easier to take apart. So I'm gonna be pulling that out. I'm pretty sure the front one has got a little bit of slop in it. It needs to be changed, but I'm like, if I'm changing the front one, change all three where you're at. So we're gonna jump right into that today. Okay guys, so she bolt, I thought, I was hoping it slid out on one end and it just bolted in in the front up there. But it turns out it bolts up there and right there. So we have to, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this plate off to give me a little better access and then I'm gonna go and unbolt it on both ends. Okay guys, so I cannot get you the best angle here of how to take it off, but the sucky thing is you can't just stick an extension up in there, take it off, unless I have a wobble head that might attempt to work because they are tucked in there as you can see. So I'm going to be going and trying to use a wrench and pop them loose from here and then you can just spin the drive shaft as you go. So hopefully that will work. Sorry if I cannot get you the best angle there to see it all. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into her. Okay guys, I got the drive shaft out. I did not record it because I was afraid of smacking my camera or something underneath her while I did it. She is laying out here. She's a little rusty. This part over here just bolts on. I had to take a large bar and was beating on this until I got a gap started here. And then I used a punch and drove up through it. These suck to get out, but yeah. So I got my U-joints laying right here. I did get the Moog ones, again, the same as I did in the front axles. So I did get the Moog joints. They are numbers Moog U-joints 330. I did get the greasable ones again. I will put a link to these in the description below. But yeah, um, right now I'm just soaking these. I keep rolling the axle and soaking them and letting them sit for a couple minutes. So I'm just letting those soak before I go to pull all of them out. But I do have the ball joint U-joint kit off of Amazon that I'm using again. I will also put that in the link in the description below. Um, yeah, guys, so I will try to show you guys all the process of putting it back together and taking the U-joints out and putting the new ones in. But if you want to know, the front of the drive shaft is 15 millimeter bolts and you can get an impact on them easy peasy. Rear ones are 16 millimeter or 5 eighths. Um, they both worked. Um, I only had an issue with one nut. Maybe you want to strip some and that was because my wrench kept slipping off. Um, and you have to use wrenches on those and they just, the back sucks. So if you don't have to take your drive shaft out, try not to, but they suck to remove unless you already have the middle support beam out. If you're doing something with your transfer case or you're souping your truck up or doing whatever to it, then it would be a lot easier to take out. But if you don't have to, don't, I recommend, because it sucks to remove. So yeah, guys, sorry for the bad angle underneath there too. It was just hard to get a good angle and me be looking here in the same place too. But I'll try to show you guys everything going back together.
should go hang out a break. Huh? Hey guys, she is all together. It took me forever to do that because this one took me about 20 minutes. And that's probably including taking the little clips out of it. It took me about 20 minutes to do this in. Piece of cake, because I did the ones on my truck and those ones, once I figured them out, they were a piece of cake. This one, on the other hand, I was trying to figure out how to take it 
apart, and I believe I took it apart backwards. I took it apart. I was thinking, take this off, and then take this whole thing off, and then take this one apart. Well, that was a very large pain in the butt. So what I recommend is taking this one, these two off first, and then this one. And then there's a little ball, kind of like a ball joint, inside there. And it has needle bearings in it. And when you pulled it out because of the suction, it sticks to the center. There's a, there's a pin in the center with a spring in it. And the needle bearings were sticking to it. And then it wasn't. Then when you went to put it back on, it wasn't letting them go back in. So I had to reseat all the needle bearings that had came out, which were about eight of them. And then I had to take it apart and put it back in multiple times because it wasn't wanting to go all the way on. But once it goes all the way on, you'll know it goes on just a little bit, you're not in there. But if it goes all the way on, you can push it and compress it and uncompress it. You know it's together. And I was like, hope I didn't break this. I really don't want to have to buy one of those pieces. But I didn't. And I was able to get it all put back together. Um, wish I could have went and while I had this apart, powder coated it. But didn't get to that. So that is something for the future one day, maybe, is powder coating this front drive shaft because she's a little rusty. But yeah, guys, so I guess it's time to get her back installed, and it shouldn't take near as long to get it installed as it did to uninstall it because nothing is froze up, and I know how to put it all back together now. Okay guys, I got the drive shaft installed on the truck, which is awesome. She is good to go now. I know I'm good with whatever I want to do to it. So I know she's all taken care of there. So drive shafts in, it was a pain in the butt to get in. Sorry, I did not film um, the taking apart of the first drive shaft of the first U-joint on the truck. I looked up and I went, crap, I'm not recording. That happens a lot, I just, you know, I just forget stuff. So, um, and then I had to use, let me show you guys what I used to break the, break the drive shaft loose. Cause it was like, I took all the bolts out and it just sat there. Yeah, I used that. I started beating on it until it got a little bit of gap in it. And then I used my punch and drove it and took it right apart guys. It was a little rusty. That's probably like the rustiest thing on the truck. The truck's pretty clean besides the drive shaft. They just, the rear one's fine, it's aluminum. Front one, it's just weird like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this install video because I know I could not find any videos because I was trying to get the drive shaft apart on the back after I got all the bolts out and I could not find any videos on it. So I hope this video was helpful to you because I could not find any fourth gens with taking the drive shaft out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, go ahead and get on there and give this video a thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button. Thank you guys all for a thousand subscribers. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day, everyone.